All right, what's up, guys? We're out here in Arizona. This is my good buddy, RJ, one of my best friends to herp with, and I'm really excited to be out here. Tonight, we found this blacktail rattlesnake, Crotalus melos, Crotalus melosus melosus, uh, one of my favorite snakes to find, um, and this guy's just super mellow, such a chill little snake. So we're gonna take some photos and video of this guy. We're gonna let him go right where we found him, but I think it's a great first snake to start off the beginning of an even better weekend. All right guys, so RJ had to go into work for the morning. So today I'm out here hiking around in central Arizona looking for Arizona mountain king snakes. Maybe we can find one and surprise him with it. So after a bit of hiking around to no avail, RJ got off of work and we met up with our friends Trent and Aaron to see what we could find. Right here, right, right at the, the base, ball. right at the base of this rock. Nice. Nice. As soon as the habitat started looking good. Yeah, right? Dude. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Finally. Nice, dude. I'm pumped. Such a high base. Dude, your first one. Yeah. Check it out. It's all the same. <laughs> What's up, guys? We're up here looking for Arizona Mountain Kings. My boy Trent here has got some stuff to tell you. Yeah, dude, we were just uh, hiking up this hill and only about 10 minutes into the hike, coming up over this rocky area, I just turned to Tyler and told him that this area was looking good and came up to look in this little crevice in the rocks and was looking deep in the crevice. It looked nice, but nothing there. As I stood up, though, I turned and right next to where I was standing. This dude was on the crawl right next to the base of uh, another rock. So pretty, pretty great start to the evening hike. We're gonna take some more photos and videos of this guy and let him go right where we found him. Alright guys, so since we found this cool Pyro Milana, I wanted to go over a bit of my photographic process with you. Um, so I'll show you like my camera, my flashes, and then some of the techniques that I use to um, film and photograph snakes. So um, first, you have to have a beautiful subject. So that's what this guy is. This is an Arizona Mountain King snake, Lampropeltis Pyro Milana. I have um, my Canon 5D set up with wireless flashes and a 24 to 105 f4. Um, I use, right now I'm using one flash to light the background. So it's gonna light the background of my subject photo. Um, and I'll show you what that looks like. I'm gonna use this flash to light up the subject, like, um, and the background that I have the subject on. So I have this really nice lichen covered rock that I'm gonna use to photograph the snake. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pose him. And the way I pose snakes, kind of a trade secret, is I just put my hands on him gently, not hard, um, so that he feels like he might be under some kind of protective covering. And I do that for a little bit, not too long until, and I'm not crushing him, I'm not pushing him hard at all. And super very 
light, light, light contact. But then hopefully when you lift up your hands, the snake stays still. This guy's been hard to pose though. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and take some photos of this guy and I'll show you what happened. All right guys, so this is it. Lampropeltis pyromolana, the Arizona mountain king snake. These snakes are so cool, just gorgeous, red, black, and white. One of my favorite snakes to see in the wild, by far. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and let this guy go. It's been such a treat to see him. I'm thankful for our whole group, for Trent, for Aaron, for RJ, but we're gonna let him go and move on to the next thing, which is moving to a desert part of Arizona to hopefully see some new species. So we'll see how that goes. All right guys, so it was really fun to be out looking for pyro and I'm really glad I got to do that, but I'm also really glad I got to drive out here tonight a little bit further west in Arizona, because tonight I found this, a desert rosy boa. Oh my gosh, this is just the most gorgeous snake I've seen in a long time. I love these animals because they're so docile, so calm. They never ever hardly bite. And this one is just particularly gorgeous. There's three subspecies of rosy boa, and this marks um, the first of the third subspecies for me. So now I've found all three subspecies. Uh, but the desert rosy boas, like this, usually have a beige background with three chocolate brown stripes running down their back. They can even sometimes be orange. So, really cool treat to find this guy. Um, I'm gonna take some photos and videos of him, and we'll let him go. All right guys, so that marks the end of another amazing herp trip and another amazing weekend. I'm super stoked to be able to hang out with RJ for a little bit. Really excited to have seen all the snakes we got to see. We didn't see too many snakes. I think we only saw five total the whole trip, but we got to see desert rosy boas and Arizona mountain kings. It was just an amazing trip. I'm gonna go ahead and finish getting packed up and we'll see you next time.